Today we're going to explore the two special right triangles in, in geometry class, the 45, 45, 90, the 30, 60, 90. So the 45, 45, 90 is really special. It comes from a square because the square, all the angles are 90 degrees. And if you were to draw the diagonal, you would, you would come up with this triangle. This would be 90 degrees and these two angles right here would be 45. And the first thing everyone knows about a square is all the sides are the same. So if this side was a, this side would be a, and this would be a square root of two. So let's go try this formula out. And so let's try it out. So we're gonna have a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle here. And suppose we'll put in 45. Suppose we're given that this side is six. We can use the formula to find the other sides. Well, this side is gonna be six units and this would be six square root of two. Let's try that again. Suppose we're given the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, so we'll call this 45. And we're gonna, um, and this is obviously 45 as well. Um, say this side right here was 10 radical two then you can use this formula instantly to realize that this is a radical 2, so the other sides would be 10 units. That's kind of really fun. So let's suppose we have a different type of problem. Let's put it up one on the board. And, and suppose we have a decimal for this side. So for example, say this was 10.8 units, and this is 45, and this is 45 and this is 90. So let's go think about our formula and see if we can figure out how to solve this. I'm going to solve it two ways actually. So um, the formula says that one side is a, this side is a, and this side is a square root of two. So this side is a, this is a, and this is equal to a radical two. So let's write this out algebraically. a squared of two is equal to 10.8 so a is equal to 10.8 divided by the square root of 2. So let's try that out on our calculator. And it's cleared us out. 10.8 divided by square root of 2 is equal to 7.64. So this is equal to 7.64. And that's supposed to be a 7 there, so just so I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my mouse tonight. So let's try this doing Sokotoa as well. See which way you prefer. Both are good. They're both good in this case. It's not so easy using the formula, but see here, Sokotoa. And I think I would have used the Sokotoa on this one. Um, so let's go write out what we're given here just so we can, oops, let me undo that. Go make this smaller and let's write down what we've been given here so we can remember what, we, what our problem was. So our problem was we were given this is 10.8 and this is 45 and the other one's 45. We'll just use this one and we're looking for a side x. So let's label these all right. So this is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent. So I would use the cosine one. So the cosine of 45 is equal to the adjacent, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is 10.8. So cross multiplying, you would take 45, oops, sorry about that, 45 cosine times 10.8, which is 7.64. Um, which way do you like better? Um, definitely for the formula, um, this, when you're given these radical twos, the formula really rocks and it's the best. Sometimes you can choose this way or that way. They both give you the same answer. There's no, um, there's no royal road to geometry and there's no exact way to do it. You can do it different ways. Now let's try the other to get the same answer. Let's try another special right triangle. This is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's try it out and let's put it up and let's put, do some examples. And it's really important to know this one just to know the basic relationships. 30 and this is 60. Okay, these are the rules. The shortest side is a. The hypotenuse is 2a, double that, and the other one is a square root of 3. So let's try some examples right away. So this, suppose this is written as 30, 60, 90, and we're given that this side is 5. Well, you can use this formula, this formula rocks. This side would be 10, the hypotenuse would be double, and this would be five square root of three. So let's try the formula one more time. 
there's a time to use this formula and there's a time not to use it and this is a time that will be awesome. Suppose we're given that this is 30 and this is 60 and suppose the side is um, 15 then the longest side is 15. The side across from the 30 would be half of that which would be 7.5 and this would be 7.5 square root of 3. Now I've got a couple applications for this so let's go to the next one. The yield sign. Suppose someone was asking you to find the area of this. Well the area is um, 1 half base times height. And um, equilateral triangle it's also it's also equal to s squared divided by 4 square root of 3. So let's just look at that first because it just went right into my mind. So let's just try that out. The side is 36. 36 times 36 divided by 4 times 3 square root is equal to about 561 inches, square inches. Suppose you don't know that formula, but you only know one-half base times height, and you just got out of your geometry class, and you know this 30, 60, 90. Let's try trying that out. So this is actually 60 degrees, because you know that the sum of the angles in a triangle are 300, I mean 180. So let's draw, construct a line right down here. Well, wow, we've got 30, 60, 90. So I'm going to change my color. I'll go with the black. This is 30, this is 90. And let's write in the formula. This is a, this is equal to 2a, and this is a square root of 3. Well, a is half of this, so this is equal to 18. And this side is 18 square root of 3. So let's try using the formula. 1 half, the base all the way across here is going to be 36. And the height, which is down here, is 18 square root of 3. So let's try that out. And half of 36 is 18, but we'll do it out. 36 divided by 2 is 18 times 18 is equal to 324 radical 3. And let's go check that out decimally. 324 times 3 square root equals 561 inches cubed. And let's try one more problem that I have set up here for you. And this is where I'm trying to show you that 30, 60, not the, the formulas, I tend to use the Sokotoa, but let's go look at this one. Suppose someone was asking you to find this blue part right here, just this length right here. And so we'll just call that, say we'll call that X, okay? And we'll call this bottom part Y. And we'll call the whole thing, oh my goodness, let me just use a straight thing. We'll call all of this C. Well, if you use the third, let's go, let's go to the 45, 45, 90, because I think I can find C right away. Because across here is 45 degrees. And the formula says this side's A, this is A, this is A square root of 2. So C clearly is the same length here, so that's equal to 15. So if you take the whole thing 15 and you subtract the y part, you'll get the x. Well, um, let's do the formula. And let's try this formula out right here. And this is that formula 30. And this is 60. And this is 90. So this side is a. This is 2a. And this is a square root of 3. So this part on the bottom triangle is equal to 15. So a is equal to, oh, a times the square root of 3 is equal to 15. So a is equal to 15 divided by the square root of 3. So let's try that on a calculator. 15 divided by 3, and I'm not rationalizing um, today, is 8.66. So 8.66 is this distance. So let's go back up here and say 15 minus 8.66 is gives you that distance is 6.34. You could have also found this doing Sokotoa and I'm just going to put that up just so that I practice that with you. So if you're looking for this side, well we'll call it y. 
this was y, and this is 15, and this is 30. Then we go to SOHCAHTOA, so let's write out SOHCAHTOA. SOHCAHTOA! And so this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent. So we're going to be using the tangent. The tangent of 30, I'm just going to push this all over and just put it together so it's not in the way, is equal to the opposite, which is equal to y divided by adjacent, which is 15. So let's try that out. 30 tangent times 15 is equal to 8.66. So it's the same answer. Which way do you prefer? I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got a little bit of background for the 30, 60, 90 and the 45, 45, 90 triangles. Thank you for watching.